back to a brand new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, we're going to be creating the app that you're looking right, right now. And if I click on the right one, as you can see, the flashlight turns on. If I click on the left flashlight, it turns off. So you can turn it on or off. You can just toggle this and it will just stay on as long as you want it. As you can see, I also did like a pretty cool user interface where if it's off, you can see the background changes and the flashlight toggles to white. Same thing if it's on, the opposite happens. Thanks so much for clicking on my video. Please make sure you do leave a like and leave a subscribe to this channel so you can see it grow because these videos really do take me some time to do, but I enjoy it. So please make sure you support it by leaving a like and a subscribe. Let's get started. Welcome back guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and the first thing I'll do is obviously remove my text hello world over here. We are going to be adding a Z stack straight away. There we go, and then we are going to follow right with a VStack, and then finally a HStack. And I'll explain exactly why we added all different three right now. The first thing I will be doing is I'll be adding two buttons. So let's go ahead and add a button, just like this. And for here, we're going to have an image. We're going to have a system name. Let's just leave it empty for now. Now, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be copying this button over here. And you're going to be saving it, uh, sorry, you're going to be pasting it exactly the same, just like I did right now. One for now, for our system names, for our images, what we need to do is we actually need to, first of all, replace this. I can't see, what, oh, I spelled it wrong. So let's just spell it correctly. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing, putting the image of the flashlight. So let's go ahead and search flash for the first one. So the one on the left, this is going to be on or uh, off on the the one on the right is going to be on so let's just go ahead and copy the name so again was this off so we want the one on the left to be off and we want the one on the right to be on so when someone clicks on the one on the left we're going to turn the flashlight off if it's already off if someone clicks on the one on the right we're going to turn the flashlight of your iphone on or ipad great so now that we have that, let's just add a little bit of padding. There we go. And now we are done. Now, before we work on using the flashlight, what I want to do is I also want to change the background of the app so that if the flashlight is on, it's white. If it's off, it's black. So let's go ahead and also do that. So I'm going to go ahead here and first, let's just add at state var, let's just say background color and this is going to be originally color dot black there we go so we're gonna go over here and we're going to say back ground dot edges ignoring safe area and we're going to put all now the reason why i did this is so that it fills the entire screen with that so obviously because the app is going to start off with the flashlight off we want our background black and we obviously want to have the foreground here for now. Again, let's switch the colors of it. So for here, let's get another color. And we're going to say torch color. And originally it will start with color dot white. So let's go over here and we're going to say torch color. Let's copy this line and we're going to put it over here as well. So now in the app, first launches our background is going to be black and the photo these two will actually have the color white and when we click on them depending on which one we click on we're going to toggle their color as well so let's go over here and over there when someone turns off the when someone clicks on the turning off button so when someone tries to turn off the flashlight what we want to do is we want to change these to black assuming they were white so let's go ahead and copy this and I'm going to say it's equal to color dot black. And when again, same thing with the torch. So I'm going to say torch color is equal to color dot black. Now, what happens if someone clicks trust to turn them on? Well, what we're going to be doing is we're going to switch these to white and these to. Okay, so the torch color is going to be black when the background is white and this is going to be white when the background is black. And now they're actually always going to be visible at all times. Now, finally, for the part that you're waiting for, let's go ahead and turn on or off our flashlight. 
To do this, the first thing we need to do is importing AV foundation, just like this. And then we're going to be using a function. So I'm going to call it func logo torch. And it's going to take one parameter. So we're going to simply set, call it on. And it will be of type bool or boolean. There we go. Now let's go ahead and start. And we're going to use a guard statement. I will say guard let device is equal to av capture capture device dot default for dot video and pretty much now we're setting our session so that we can actually start using it and i will say else return there we go after that we're going to first check if that device even has a torch so we're going to say if device dot has torch and remember we're going to be using the torch not the flashlight it's the same thing but we're going to be using the torch if we do have a torch then what we want to do is we want to add all what i'm about to say inside a do statement and here i'm just going to add a catch statement sometimes after you do your do statement you get confused to where you put your catch statement and then i'll say try device dot lock for configuration and then we're going to say if on is equal to true so if the parameter here is set to true what we want to do is we actually want we want to turn the devices torch on so we're going to say device dot torch mode and obviously we have auto off or on we want to go ahead with on else if it is not on so else what we want to do is we want to turn it off so we're going to say again torch mode and we're going to say it's equal to off there we go for the catch statement for now i'm just going to print something and i'll just say torch could not be used now there we go now the only thing we have left here is that when someone tries to turn it on what we want to do is we want to toggle our torch and we're going to pass in true which means this is going to work and we're going to turn our flashlight or torch on if someone clicks on off what we want to do is again we want to call it and we're going to say equal to false now the app is actually complete so i'm going to plug it into my phone and i'm going to show you whether or not it's working fine all right so we have the app here running on my iphone as you can see i have uh everything here displayed and let's go ahead and try and click on the right one and as you can see the flashlight suddenly opens and i'm assuming it did mess up with the focus but as you can see the flashlight is working the background did change the background or the color of the flashlight did change as well let's go ahead and click on the left one and as you can see it turns it off so we can turn it on or we can turn it off now one thing i really want to do is i want to make it bigger just so that we can actually see it but as you can see the app does fully work so let's go ahead and do that i'm just going to go back to xcode over here and i'm going to say font is equal to dot large title let's go ahead and copy this and going to do the exact same thing over here wonderful now let's go ahead and run the app again and see whether it will look good or not okay nice so now we actually have the flashlight symbols bigger and if we click on it it again turns on background changes if you click on it turns off and it changes as well one thing i want you to realize is that the switches on the cam on the flashlights are even turned on or off so this helps here you go very easy app that allows you to use the flashlight on your phone as a torch and also just some cool user interface Thank you and please make sure you do leave a like, leave a subscribe to this channel. Have a good day.